Hey guys, what's up? What's new? It's your girl Star, and I'm back again with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel for the very first time, please feel welcome. You're awesome, fabulous, and amazing, and I love and appreciate you guys so, so very much. So today we'll be reacting to Russian, which says her magic does work on Muslims. Sounds very, very interesting. Without further ado, let's dive our team, guys. That it's more difficult to influence a person if he keeps his thoughts in purity. Yes, absolutely. When faced with various religions, it is very difficult to influence Muslims. They are in a constant connection with the aggregor. They do namaz every day and read prayers on a daily basis. They are constantly under some kind of a dome, so it is very difficult to influence them. When you start impacting a person, he begins to address in a prayer. Indeed, many of them are very different from those who come to church only when everything is bad in their life. They come to pray, and then for five years they forget about God, some canons, and so on. Muslims, as a rule, passionately believe and passionately give energy to their aggregor. And this aggregor protects them very well. That's why it is very difficult to work to make any kind of influence on a true Muslim believer. Is this some kind of a good aggregor? Well, for them, yes. This aggregor is good for adepts who contribute good energy to it. How do you sense it? For instance, you have found an energy trace of such person. What's next? Do you try to drag him somehow to visualize this threat and you fail? Or how do you do that? It disappears. I cannot get a grip on it. I focus on it, but something immediately knocks me out of the flow, just like that. Or I visualize a person in front of me clearly and can affect him even at a mental level, but some image is not created in my mind at all. I even look at a photo, reproduce an image, but it vanishes from my mind. Thus, I can clearly see that a person is covered with something. Does this only work with Muslims? It does for me. Nowadays, there are very few people among Christians who truly believe. Even those who write in their comments that God is in the soul, that they are all faithful believers, but in reality they are not. Even most often they write that all this is a sin, but then ask in a private message how to make a robin spell. Such cases also happen. A robin spell? A robin spell. Wow. <coughs> I don't even know where to start, where to begin it, where to begin. She's trying to destroy the Muslim. <laughs> She's trying to destroy the Muslim. It's not funny, but I have to laugh because, but why? What they have, what have they ever done to you? And, but she does have a strong point because m most Christians, they only know God when, we only know God when we have problems, but she's saying that Muslims, true Muslim believers, they, they, um, they worship God in spite of their problems, and this is just amazing. This that she had a point with that, but come on, why, why would you want to use evil to destroy God's people? Like, come on, that's just crazy. That's insane. And creepy. Wow. Wow. But why though? Why does she want wants to like destroy and to do evil things against um believers of God? I guess she realized that most Christians are they 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 don't believe in God and so she doesn't have to fight against them because most of most persons that say they're Christians, they're they're already on their way to hell. But she sees that um, Muslims, true faith, Muslims, um, she realized the connection and the relationship um, they have with God, and she's trying to destroy them. That's what I see so far. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, guys, what did you think about this video? If you're new to this channel for the very first time, please feel welcome. You're awesome, fabulous, and amazing. I love and appreciate you guys so, so very much. Let love lead the way, guys. I wish I had a time machine. You turned me on like a light switch.